Hi, I'm Sokom. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to delete a disk partition. Uh, normally, you can't delete in Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 10 because it might be created using uh, in uh, OS X or Linux. So you can't just delete it. So the utility we're going to be using is actually the disk part. And and the command, we use list disk, select disk 1, and clean to delete it. So get start. let's get started. So I'm going to launch uh, Windows 7 here. Right click on it. One click on computer. And then click on manage. Right. And you want to click on manage. So we're going to get to the disk utility. So we're going to view uh, w the disk that we're going to be deleting. And in, in this case, we have disk number one that has all sorts of uh, partition on this this one here like uh, you know partition that we can't delete on Windows 7 or Windows 8 in this case we're using Windows 7 and uh, so we, we launch this to view the disk but uh, so the, the what we're gonna do is that we're gonna launch the utility that building windows called this part so we get click on start menu and type disk part and once you get into that, and then you just select it, and uh, it's gonna launch that, and it's gonna go to DOS prom here and launch this part. So what you need to do is actually you type the word list disk. So that's gonna show the disk exactly just like what it shows on the disk manager here, okay? And it shows that. So the disk that we're gonna be deleting is actually disk number one. So we're gonna type select disk one. Okay, so that this one is the one that we want to delete, and press enter, and now we're gonna issue the command called clean. It's actually delete the entire all partition all at once, as you can see. And now the next step you're gonna do, you're gonna reinitialize the reinitialize the disk. So what? And before that, and then uh, we can just type exit uh, to exit the disk uh, utility. Now click on initialize and this one and leave it as default as MBR and now we can see uh, you can uh, click on petition simple petition and click next and uh, so next so the format we can choose like a uh, perform quick format that's fine and we can give it a label like 500 gig that's what it is and click on next okay and after that you click on finish so now this this is clean on NTFS, so you can reuse it, or you can reinstall whatever you do want to do. So now, after it's completing the format, okay, it's gonna auto launch the folder to this that I, that has just been formatted. Okay, and you can see it's labeled, and you click on it, and of course it's blank right now. Okay, so we can try testing, uh, uh, putting some data in it as you can see here this is the drive that we just repetition it okay and you can try uh, try to create a new folder make sure you can write on it and that's it thank you for watching